All right, guys, gonna turn my attention to this sexy beast. It is a 1979 Euro 635 CSI, and it is an amazing car. I bought this car over the summer, almost six months ago, and I've been working on it, on it, on and off since then, and wanted to share something with you guys uh, with these who may, <clears throat> with you guys who may own one of these earlier E12 based six series. Um, as you guys know, there's not a lot of parts out there, um, not compared to the E24, the newer brother. But um, anyway, I hope this helps. And, and what I wanted to share with you today is the, um, the shifting. So when I got this car, it was very sloppy. The shifter was very, very sloppy. And I uh, went into gear fine, the clutch is okay. Good engagement there, but just very sloppy. And I actually have a, another 635, it's an E24 86. And I spent a fair bit of time and money to really upgrade the shifter on that. And I wanted this car to have a similar uh, shifting feel. Uh, just make it crisp again. So I called up my good friends over at Ireland Engineering, spoke to George, <clears throat> and they knew exactly what I needed. So uh, here's the old shifter mechanism. Um, this is from 1979. Nothing really uh, complicated about it. It's just the rod with a pivot ball and some plastic nylon type bushings that cup the lower and lower and upper part of the ball. And just some things for you guys to to keep in mind. You will need to remove some pieces from this to use with the Ireland Engineering Kit. Specifically, there is a spring that sits on top of this, and then on top of that spring is a metal hat. On top of that metal hat is a C-clip. So you will need the C-clip, the metal hat, and the spring that sits on the top of part, on the, on the upper part, on top of this nylon bushing. To get that, those three pieces out, the only way without damaging them is you have to actually take the C-clip off that's inside here. And it looks hard, but it actually wasn't too bad. It took me all of a minute or two to do so using a small flat edge screwdriver. It's hard to see it in this video because it's getting dark and also the angle, but there's a C-clip that sits inside that inside this channel right here that has to be removed. <clears throat> Once you remove that C-clip that sits in here, you pull hard at this bottom piece, it'll come out. And then the C-clip, the metal hat and the spring will just slide over the top of this rod which ends actually about here inside this. So that's what you need to salvage from the original uh, OEM setup. The Ireland engineering kit is, uh, it wasn't very expensive, it was about $140. And it's all installed now. And uh, pardon the mess in here guys, I'm actually in the process of redoing all the interior in this car. So here's what you get. Um, I just put the original um, shifter on here uh, and uh, just to test it but this is the lever that you get and you can see there's a new ball down there and <clears throat> let me just put my light right here so here's the C clip right here that you need to use from the original piece and then below the C-clip is that metal hat I was telling you about. And then below that that you can see is a compressed spring. So that the compressed spring is keeping it all inside this machined sheet metal right here. So you can see the, the C-clip uh, holes are right here. So you'll need a really good uh, C-clip tool to get this out, but it's, it's fairly straightforward, nothing rocket science there. And it all goes into place really nicely. And uh, uh, let me cl climb under the car and show you what it looks like under the car. 
under the car, let me just grab my screwdriver so that I can point when I'm talking. <coughs> under the car, um, not too difficult. I was able to remove everything without uh, having to drop the exhaust or the drive shaft, which is nice. So here is under the car and <coughs> let's see if I can get my light to stay. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's the underside and you have to remove, there's a C-clip right here which you have to remove. That was fairly straightforward. Once you pop that C-clip off, then this rod that connects to the transmission, this will just pull out and <coughs> you can get the old shifter out. To get the new one in, what I noticed is on the new Ireland engineering kit that I got, the this bushing that fits inside here was a little too large. So I had to machine it down just a bit. I mean, it's probably just a fraction to get it to fit over the metal arm or pin and then put a bit of grease on it as well and it'll slide perfectly over with absolutely no play and then you put the C-clip back on. And after that's done, then you're done. So really, it'll take you maybe uh, 30 minutes, an hour to install this entire um, entire short shifter uh, kit with all the new bushings and uh, let's go back inside guys and I'll show you how much better it shifts as I row through the gears and uh, here we go okay so here we go Okay, so in the, when I first bought the car, I mean, it was, it was like a bowl of gumbo. It was very, very sloppy. Uh, but look at it now. It's, here's reverse. Okay, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it's, it's really nice, short throw, very crisp, and uh, it's, drops into gear really nicely. So I certainly recommend this for any of you E12, 